Hello everyone. May the 4th be with you. Oh, as always, it is a malfunction fucking day here at Catbox Comedy. All right. Yes, it is Star Wars Day, bitches. I am wearing my favorite Star Wars shirt. Actually, it's a quote by Carrie Fisher. Be afraid, but do it anyway. Yes, that's right. Be afraid, but do it anyway. God damn it. That's what we're doing here at Catbox Comedy. By the way, the show is rated R in case you haven't noticed. We will be doing some Star Wars stuff today. Look, I even got my, my lightsaber. Yes, hell yeah. Hell yeah, we got the lightsaber happening today. It's too big to get the fuck on screen. Um, It is... <laughs> it is a um, combat ready lightsaber which I have used before so it is an awesome fucking thing thank you for joining us we do have some uh, some Star Wars stuff here let's see what's see what's on the agenda oh yes where are all my nerds at all right so roses are red violets are blue if you love Star Wars may the fourth be with you hello there's your poem there's your poetry I didn't say it was good all right, so we have a couple jokes here. You know, R2-D2 is so fucking vulgar. Like, all of his words and lines are beeped out. Yeah, let that sink in. Okay, that wasn't such a good one. Okay, um, here, here's one. Uh, I just hit someone. Said no stormtrooper ever. That is true. If you want to learn how to shoot some, shoot a gun but never hit a target, go to stormtrooper school. I swear to God, best thing ever. Okay. So, okay, uh, okay, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, you know, they're brother and sister, they kissed, right? That's okay if you're all into that. Some families are, that's why their family trees run straight up and down. But, um, you know what? She was really looking for love in Alderaan places. Yep. Yeah, we're starting out with some corny shit tonight, okay? Today, tonight, whatever the hell it is. I gotta go back to doing the shit at night. I'm not a daytime person. Alright, so last and finally of the Star Wars jokes. This one, uh, I did write myself. The other one I, I did find before um, online. They weren't the best. I'm just checking some chat here. Uh, yes, okay. So, what does Han Solo call a condom? A galactic prophylactic take that one to the bank actually it's great um local comedian and legend michelle tomko actually loves that joke she has actually done that before um she will pull me up and uh yeah she'll be like do the star wars joke it's like okay i know exactly which one she's talking about so all right without further ado i guess we're going to do some robot improv tonight oh yeah find us on facebook instagram patreon discord youtube follow us there we have shirts on t public actually the shirt came off of t public too so if you like it you like the design go check it out i'm gonna drop our link in the chat i know this is off to a slow fucking start guys okay very fucking slow we're actually going to be watching a sci-fi movie like halfway through because i'm like you know what we need like some sci-fi here you know star wars day sci-fi i know we can't show actual star wars because you know copyright issues but i was like what the hell let's find a film let's let's do that but before we do that it's like let's get on with this um i did want to show you i do have some porks check this out check this shit out okay this is some of my artwork and my porgs actually sell really, really good. Like, we have just porging around. You know, come to the porg side. We have cookies. May the porg be with you. I heart porgs. Of course, that one's one of my favorites. Just your regular porg there. Fucking Deadpool porg. I made a Deadpool fucking porg. Okay, we have, uh, of course, we have the Winter Soldier porg. And we have Captain America porg. Why? Because they're fucking amazing. So go check out my shop. I'm going to drop the link as soon as I fucking find it again. I am on Store Envy. So if you go to Store Envy, um, yeah, OptimusArtistry.StoreEnvy.com. I'm going to drop that link in the fucking chat box. And then we're going to get this shit started. I do other Star Wars art too. So if you see anything on my profile that you like, um, let me know. It's always fucking for sale. So, all right. We are going to get this started. Uno momento, por favor. Um, or I, I wish I could talk like Yoda, but apparently I can get my verbs and nouns in the right order. So, <laughs> all right, without further ado, let's get this shit started. All right. Oh, God, my camera is off. I did not pregame today. <laughs> like, this is, this is like, horrible. This is me just running tech for the first, like, 20 fucking minutes. Uh, 
It's like, get used to it. It's all good. So, yes. <laughs> all right. Let me adjust my camera here. I am, like, so fucking off. This is great. This is fucking great. <laughs> I'm like, let's start the day off right. Let's start the day off. First, my cat wouldn't get the hell out of here, okay? My cat's a pain in the fucking ass, by the way. Oh, Lord. Um, Lord, what the hell am I doing here? Uh, all right, here we go. Move me over. There we go. I need to be a little bit more sensitive. There we go. How's that? All right, here we go. We're going to start some. We're going to do some robot stuff today. So I hope you bought your robot caps because I'm like, I love robots and I'm like, okay, so R2-D2 and if R2-D2 and BB-8 had a baby, it would probably sound like Vicky from Small Wonder. Maybe that's what she was. I know she was like man-made, but you know, those parts had to come from somewhere. So <laughs> we're going to do some robot stuff here. Hell to the yeah. All right. Let me get my name here. Jesus Christ. She can't even get my name on the screen. By the way, I am Christine Nolan. This is Solo Improv. This is a uh, solo malfunction. So, yes, let's get to the fucking wheel. All right, let's get to the wheel. Oh, good. We have a fucking ad there today. Here, go away. Go away. I don't want you. Go. No, just go. Close. No, no, it's not going to. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Okay, whatever. Get a Simply Safe fucking doorbell, okay? I just advertise for you on my show for fucking free. Okay. Robots from space. All right. Do I have a timer? No, fuck it. We'll just go by the clock. All right. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even have my timer. It's, it's fan-fucking-tastic. We're just going to have a balls moment for a minute. Here we go. All right. So three minutes on robots from space. I am a robot. I am from space. Would you like to come inside? I don't care where you come, as long as you clean it up. That got real dirty, real fucking fast. Alright, so here we are. We are in space. Oh, wait, we are from space. Alright, now I'm sound... Alright, let me get into conehead mode. Alright, we are here on planet Earth, where the condoms are amazing for bubblegum. We like to chew them and blow bubbles. It is amazing being here. Earth is unlike any other place. Everyone treats you like shit. Even though you're from the same fucking planet. It is so much fun here. Um, what do we do? Oh um, uh, yeah. As robots here on Earth, we try to make peace. That does not happen. That will never happen. But it is amusing. Earth is the best television show in the world. So many, so much reality going on. There's reality TV within reality TV. Can you believe that shit? But what I like about being from space is I can always go home. I say ET phone home. I can phone home too. It's not just for ET. It's for everyone. You can always phone home. <laughs> there is no reason for you not to phone home. I said foam. Oh my god. <laughs> As I said before, this is Malfunction Wednesday. Rolled over from Malfunction Monday. You get what you get. This is free programming. Please subscribe to us today. For only $5 a month, you can skip those annoying fucking commercials. But being a robot from space, it is fucking amazing. Did you know that when we have sex, we don't even have to get naked? Robot sex is all their age. I'm telling you, every innie is an Audi and every Audi is an innie. We are gender fluid and speaking of fluid, it's all over the place. As I got so excited talking about it. The oil here is amazing. You should try it. Actually, no, do not try this shit at home. Remember, this is for pure entertainment only. If I am entertaining you, please let me know. Because I have no clue what I am doing. Alright. And that was Robots from Space. <laughs> like I said, it's hard doing like the robot. That's why I'm like, we are not doing an hour of fucking robot. Alright. But we do have some cool stuff coming up later today. Um, tonight at 8pm, it is hump day. It is May the 4th. We are dropping an all new Beauty and the Beast show. So if you want to hear um, Shakespearean uh, Jedi... <laughs> Or a great story. It's like, tune into that. It's like, I had to save some stuff up. 
So, all right, now we are moving on to the next one. Let's go back to the wheel here. Yeah, sorry about the fucking ad. Like, I don't know. It won't go away. It's like fucking... Yeah, no, it's fucking stuck there. It's fucking... <laughs> Great, my ear just fucking popped. Great. <laughs> what else could go wrong? Just kidding. I don't want to know. All right, Robot Asylum. Now, this I can definitely get into. All right, so here we go. Three minutes on Robot Asylum. You know what? I do need my timer. I'm an idiot. Hold on. Let me get my timer. Time out. Time out to get the timer. Time out to get I do need that. I need to stay in check. It's, yeah, it's a thing. All right, here we go. Three minutes on Robot Asylum. Hello, and welcome to Briarcliff Asylum. That is right, where the nuns are dirty, and we fuck the priests. Why? Because it's a part of life. Everyone deserves pleasure. But mostly here we are about the pain. If you would like a frontal lobotomy, there is no line waiting. You go front to the line. To the line of the front. Front of the line. As we call, I think I may have had too many frontal lobotomies. Yes, there is no waiting. If you like electric shock therapy, you are in the right place. It is amazing. It will fry your circuits. I sound like something from the Jetsons. I started off sounding like Vicky from Small Wonder. But now I have turned into something else because we are at the asylum. That's right. Robots love straight jackets. Yes, we too can get kinky with it. So if you have not been to a robot asylum, you are in for a kinky treat. Yes, that's right. Every robot is tied up or tied down or tied up with something. Barbed wire is a bitch, but we like it. We call that pleasure rope. But here at the asylum, robots are just robots getting help with their functions. In fact, a frontal lobotomy requires a dipstick. And you know just where to put that dipstick, do you not? Like I mentioned before, every innie is an Audi and every Audi is an innie. We are gender fluid dripping all over the place. That is correct. So sometimes robots have issues and we must go to the asylum to get them fixed. Sometimes there is dancing, but there is no sunlight. We do not tolerate any kind of light here at the robot asylum as it will surely burn out our circuits. Having them fried is one thing, but burning them out is another. One time there was this robot. She was a pretty young robot. She got possessed by a demon. She became Satan. It was amazing. You should have been there. There was even an all-star cast of many awesome people at the asylum. Which, if you haven't watched by now, you should probably catch up. And hope to God there's another season of American Horror Story coming soon because we really miss that show. I don't know what the hell happened the last season, but we miss it. So yes, always return to the Robots Asylum, where you will be greeted with robots and given a frontal lobotomy as you enter. And that was Robot Asylum. I don't know what the hell happened there. Um, we'll reflect for a moment. Uh, yeah. So come back to the Robot Asylum. Wow, I'm not doing it in the right screen today. This is great. This is great. So it's like, okay, let's get the show started. Fuck, I'm in the wrong screen. All right. Beam me up, Scotty. No, that's fucking Star Trek. We're on Star Wars today. <laughs> dear Lord, dear Lord. I'm getting my stuff mixed up. All right. Let's go back to the fucking wheel. Okay. So that was Robot Asylum. Creatures of the night. Ooh, kinky. All right. So back to the improv stage. All right, this is Robots with Creatures of the Night. It is now nighttime. I am a robot. I am a creature of the night. I like to come out and suck your oil. Ha ha ha. 
Yes, that is right. I am a vampire robot. Try to do this at the same time with an accent of trying to sound like a robot and a vampire at the same time. Yes. How do you think other vampire robots become vampire robots? You must be first bitten and have your oil drained. Have it sucked dry. Kind of like Jiffy Lube. If you like to get lubed, you should go to Jiffy Lube. But being a creature of the night. Yes, that is right. I have robot needs. This robot needs needs to be taken care of. If you get my drift. Or my lube. Everyone likes a good dipstick. But sometimes you must drain the fluid. You must insert another oil pad. I believe that is like a robot suppository. That you must change the filter. There we go. That is what the fuck I was looking for. You must change the robot filter. That is where you get kinky. That is where your robot hand has to go up. Higher and higher. Screwing it in. Left to right, right to left, whatever the hell way it is that you screw in a filter up a robot's ass. That is another form of kink that we like. Here being creatures of the night. I think that was a poem. Now I'm getting into an English accent. I'm an English vampire robot. There we go, say that ten times fast. I bet you can't. Ooh, so being a creature of the night. Draining oil wherever I see it. Sometimes even car oil will do. Just as long as I get the oil in me. I shall shine from above, drop from below, and make love to that sweet robot in the night. Yes, that is correct. Us robots, we make passionate love after we have been lubed up. Something no one ever wants to see. In fact, I've probably scarred people with this one. So yes, we have now returned from the creatures. Of the night. Remind me to never do this shit again. Okay? <laughs> Remind me. <laughs> and this is why we're only doing half robot today. Okay? <laughs> Alright. Let's get back to the... Um, where the hell are we? Where the hell are we? <laughs> Let's do one more of these. Alright. And then we're going to kick it off. We're going to play a sci-fi movie. Oh good, a hyper fucking robot. That's what we fucking need. Caffeine robot. Okay, thanks friends for putting these on the fucking wheel, by the way. If you ever want to put a suggestion on the wheel, just find us on Facebook. I always put down, you know, ask for suggestions like the night before or whatever. Or if I bring up a wheel, like this wheel's been around for a while. So I'm like, why not use it on Starbucks Day, right? I mean, Starbucks at Star Wars. God damn it. <laughs> I'm getting confused again. It, it's okay. It's okay, right? 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 Yeah, I'm having a delayed day. All right, so all right, <laughs> caffeine robot it is, bitches. Three minutes on the board. Oh, damn it! I lost my clock again. You son of a bitch. All right. All right, three minutes on caffeine robot. Hello, I am caffeine robot. Yes, that's right. I have espresso. I have I have coffee. I have everything. I have a caffeine. Need. I have Red Bull. I can pull anything out of my spout that you would like. Yes, there's tons of caffeine to go around. Yes, that is right. I am a caffeine robot. Ooh, ADD. Ooh, look at... Ooh, look, a squirrel. Ooh, there goes the ADD. Ooh. Don't you just love ADD? ADD, 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 It is so much fun, especially when you are a caffeine robot. Oh my gosh, I'm talking a million miles an hour. This is so amazing. Caffeine robot loves caffeine. Caffeine, 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 caffeine. That is right. Get your coffee. Get your espresso. Yes, 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 yes. We have all the caffeine in the world. Yes, Red Bull does not give you wings, you stupid sons of bitches. 
stop saying that, stop doing that, robot, the, robot, yes, yes, ro robot soup, drink Red Bull, yes, I am malfunctioning, <laughs> I have had too much caffeine, too much caffeine, whoa, 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 so I am a caffeine robot, I do not crash, I see like this all the time, can you imagine if a robot really was on caffeine? Could you imagine how many other words would be coming out of his mouth? How many beeps, beep, 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 beep? Could you imagine R2D2 on caffeine? Beep, 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 don't you like a caffeine robot today? Yes, yes, yes. Please subscribe to our channel. It's only $5 a month. It's cheaper than a cup of coffee at Starbucks. Yes, that is right. Could you imagine if robots were Starbucks or Starbucks had robots? Could you imagine getting that? You know, we would still fuck up your name no matter what. It would be amazing. Like, Bob would become, like, Rob or some shit. Or, you know, we would totally fuck it up. Like, we would put, like, Mike with an A in there. Like, it would be really fuck up, fucked up. It'd be more like make. I am totally fucking up as a robot right now because I have had way too many and way too much caffeine. Way too many. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Like, I can't even talk as a robot now because I've had way too much caffeine. It is frying my circuit. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Could you imagine though if robots really did drink Red Bull and then they had wings and we would be flying robots? Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be cool? We could just fly around just like um, uh, empty our fluids onto everyone. It would be like acid everywhere. Like, go over to the robot coffee machine. Caffeine robot is here to say yes. <laughs> Sometimes I wind down just a little bit, but then I have some more coffee in. Here I am, a caffeine robot. Yes, we like the caffeine. Ah, uh, we cannot get enough. We love the caffeine. Yes, caffeine robot needs caffeine. I am going to malfunction if I do not get more caffeine. Yes. Caffeine is the best. Oh, look, another squirrel. Oh, my God, this is so fucking amazing. A robot with ADHD. Yes, it is my time. <laughs> and that was Caffeine Robot. <laughs> I think we will end with that one. We are going to get a movie started. All right, it is one that I have not seen before. We might leave that wheel up. Uh, let me see what I'm doing here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Do, do, do. All right, we've got to go back to the media room here. Yes, if you're just tuning in, this is Solo Improv with Christine Knowlton at Catbox Comedy. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Patreon, Discord, TikTok, YouTube. Go to our Deep Public and check out our stuff. <laughs> Buy some shit, become a sub today. It's all great, isn't it? It's all great. Can we get a little, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Let's see what we've got going on here. All right. So, okay. I promised you a movie. All right. So, what we're doing here is watching a movie. And I will narrate because it is a silent fucking film. But we will have underscore. So, let me get the underscore ready, I think. Um, edit. No, I don't need to rotate the fucking thing. Fuck the volume. Okay, there it is. All right, and of course it's not in English, so don't try to read this shit. <laughs> so not, I'm not even sure what movie this is, but I know I can't pronounce the name. So it's got to be good, am I right? Guess as we take a moment. Whew. Whew. I can't read any of this shit, so... Um, Pretend that you can read it. I'm like, pretend that you can read the shit because I can't. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, something like that. So. <laughs> Again, let me get a movie that I can't even pronounce the fucking title. So here we go. Like I said, I'm going to have the underscore on. Got some fucking cat hair up my nose. It's fucking brilliant, you know. Oh, look, robot. Housekeeper, me want to love you long time. Oh, so he's a detective robot. Oh, this could be interesting. We'll look at the red light. Is this a horse house? Because there's like a red light on. 
Oh my god, that dude is in like a polka dot and checkered suit. Wait, no, just the checkered suit. Like, I think he's there at the asylum. Like, check this shit out. I'm gonna write my name and shit. Oh wait, no, I found the match. Check the shit out. Look at this fire needle. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Housekeeping, me want you love me long time? Get in here, oh no. Oh baby, oh shit, this is a sexy fucking film. Oh boy. Ooh, let's take that needle, holy shit. Oh, another one did. Another one bites dust. And another one's gone, another one. Hey Sarah, what's up? We're watching some weird ass sci-fi fucking film and narrating it today. I think this one just died from drug overdose, so... Let me hear her heart. No, she's definitely fucking dead. Oh my god, she's naked. Oh my god, is this like a backside lobotomy? <laughs> oh baby. Uh-oh, she's gonna hide the booze. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, she just pissed on the floor. Oh, that can't be good. No, no. Don't you hate when you piss on the floor? Yeah, let me put this on for you. Let me dress you after we've just played with your naked body. Let's turn you around here. Let's flip you around. Dun, dun, dun. We'll tuck you in. All right, see, we poked out your eye earlier doing that frontal lobotomy. Ooh. Someone likes to play with fucking matches. All right. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. <laughs> Hell yeah. This guy's like, I'm getting my shit. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm out. I'm out, bitches. I am so the fuck out. Mm -mm. He's like, goodbye, sir. Please come back for more. Oh my god. So the orgy just started and there's like no chicks. Okay. <laughs> it's like, move, damn it. Move. There's all these fucking people. They're like blocking the way. All right, red light, red light. Everyone's gonna get beat the fuck up. All right, brawl. We gotta, you know, beat the shit out of this guy that just wants to come through on the fucking road. <laughs> uh oh, there's a fire. Oh, holy shit. Oh god, look at that dude. That dude's like fucking a gymnast, right? He just rolled right the fuck in there. Is that little dude on top of another dude? Dude, this shit's crazy. Told you we were gonna watch some sci-fi shit today. Oh shit, let me crawl out the window. Like, oh my god, there's an actual fucking fire in here. Oh my god. Like, where do all these barrels come from? Like, they must be like drunks or something here at the asylum. Oh look, it's a puppy. Oh, it's a sick person. God damn it, there's a lot of sick people in this movie. God damn it. <laughs> the dog's like, hey bitches. How you doing? Um, yeah, something terrible fucking happened. Someone got arrested. All these people standing around. Okay, here we go. Yes, have you seen the newspaper this morning? Oh, hello there, Magenta. I didn't know you were here today. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Just awing over Sleepy Kitty. Sleepy Kitties are awesome. I couldn't get my fucking show started today. My cat wouldn't get off the computer. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, my cat's got porn problems, it's great. Okay, yeah, back to the fucking movie. Alright, what are we doing here? Oh, is there a window? There's a box and a window here? What the hell? There's like another fucking door. Oh, and a dead guy. Awesome. Fuck, yeah. Didn't see that fucking coming. <laughs> hmm, what do we have here? Alright, let's go out the joint. Let's have tea with the mother. Alright, here we go. Hello, did anybody call for a hooker? I know, right? They're like too fucking funny. It's great. Alright. Maybe I should get a movie in fucking English next time. Okay. <laughs> this is all the great stuff about Catbox Comedy. Alright, so he read the letter. He sips his little fucking tea. Alright, there's a fucking fire. People are burning. It's great. You know, the girl's like, I don't want to live anymore. I'm going to set myself on fire. Fuck it. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's hide under the bed. Oh my god, there's a fire. This isn't a bomb drill, you jackass. It's a fucking fire. <laughs> Again, you don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. Isn't it great, like, when fucking asylums burn? You know, because then they're truly fucking haunted. It's great. Just carry up one dead person at a time, guys. 
you know, let's stick them in the trunk, you know, let's pile them, let's make a pile, let's play Jenga, let's play Jenga with the dead bodies, let's... <laughs> <laughs> I know this is like supposed to be a sci-fi movie. I'm like, all right, all I've seen was like drug addicts dying and fire and dead people Jenga. It's like, oh my god, it's you, it's you. I know who you are. I'm gonna make you naked now, cause I'm a necrophilia. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Uh, the next day. What am I going to do with all these naked people in a pile, huh? I guess we'll just have to wait and see, am I right? <laughs> this one's got a blindfold on. I don't know what the hell's happened in here. She's still in her nightie just walking around. The whole place burnt down. She's like, I can't see a fucking thing. <laughs> like, ooh, I am getting out of here. Look at me, I've got a key. Ha ha. <laughs> Sons of bitches, I'm getting out of this fucking place, right? All this to break out of an asylum. Oh my god, that dude is still in the basement. Like, holy shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, here, here, here we go. It's the mob. We're coming in. We're coming in after you. One eyed Sarah. We're coming in. <laughs> I don't know why I said one eyed Sarah. I'm like, fuck, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, guys, break it up, break it up. There's a woman over there in the corner. We don't know what she's done yet. But we gotta find out. <laughs> Here, here's my letter, here's my ID. Yeah, bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm the crazy motherfucker that burnt this joint down. <laughs> oh shit, dude on the edge, dude on the edge. <laughs> Just hang in there, buddy. <laughs> That's what that cat always says. Just hang in there. <sighs> free at last. Thank God almighty, I'm free at last. What am I gonna do? The hell's this dude doing in a fucking tree, right? He better be selling fucking Girl Scout cookies and shit, right? I'm hungry. Oh my god, that horse is... That, that was like a bobtail horse. Like, holy fuck. You don't see many of those. I think his tail might have just been wrapped up like in a bun. You know, keep the hair out of his asshole. Keep the hair out. <laughs> Alright, here's another letter. Okay, here's a pervert coming down the hill. Did you like watching me take a piss in the weeds? Like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, dude, dude, there's a, there's this chick in this tree and she was taking a piss. It was great. Oh my god, wake up, wake up. Wake up, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter. What the hell, my lover, I don't know. My, I'm gonna kiss her here, kiss her there, you know. Oh my god, I'm, no, I'm not a necrophiliac anymore. Like, check this shit out. Everybody's in beds, so right? I would love to have a room that had like 50 beds in it, all right? <laughs> oh, hello, Daddy. <laughs> oh, look, he's bouncing on the set. Oh, how come he gets to bounce on the couch, but I don't? <laughs> That's not fair, Daddy. <laughs> bounce higher. Bounce higher. Yeah, what they said. What the hell? This guy has definitely had too much fucking caffeine. <laughs> I'm alive! The asylum burned down! I'm alive! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like, hmm, what is going on here? Oh yes, let us all smoke. Oh, alright, the orgy scene, finally! Jesus Christ, she... <laughs> For a minute, it was like a fucking sausage fest. <laughs> like, alright, bring in the dames. Alright, bring in the broads. Oh my god, look how short that dude is. That's so fucking cute. Look at him with his little tray. Like, all right. Let me get these bitches drunk because we're going to have some fun. <laughs> Everyone to the great orgy. Grab your mask because we don't want to know who anybody is. You know, even though we can see your faces. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. That guy over there, he likes to do it doggy style. It is so awesome. You know, you've got to try it. If you've never tried doggy, you've got to try it. You know, over there in the other corner, they like to get kinky. They like to shove shit in their ass. You know, stay away from that corner. <laughs> no idea what the fuck that says. <laughs> All right, blind man's buff. All right, round and round he goes. Where he sticks his dick in, no one knows. All right. Ooh, here I come. Oh, he's going to get a dude, isn't he? He's, he's, he's gonna make out with the dude. Do it. 
It's like, oh no, something happened. The ladies are all like, no, run away. Like, run away. It's like, oh no, something's happened. What that just said, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, oh daddy, I'm scared. Did mommy break out of the asylum? Is she going to hurt me again? Oh my god, this monster. What the hell is that? It's a party crashing robot. All right, let's get this party started. I am here to crash our party. I don't know what the hell you are doing, you stupid human. Get away from that door. Get the hell out of that wardrobe. You cannot go to Narnia. This is not a fucking time to go to Narnia. I will shake you out like a Cracker Jack box. Come out, you son of a bitch. All right, through the wall we go. This robot is a party crasher. And here we are at the tower of the asylum. My maker, he must... My maker... Oh, fuck, I can't do the robot anymore. My maker, he must die. Like all good makers, they must come to an end. Oh, fuck, there he goes. Did he live? Fuck me. Fuck me. Destroy. Must destroy. <laughs> Right, because that's convenient to have a fucking rope on the side of the wall, right? <laughs> How fucking convenient, right? Yeah, <laughs> can't <be> rude. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's just like, oh god damn it, I need a break. Holy shit, killer robots coming after me. What the hell did I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of dope shit in this, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, look at this pearl necklace my man gave me last night. It's so glorious. Talking about reloading. <laughs> I'm going to put all my personals in the safe to keep them safe. Because, I mean, that's what, after all, that's what the robots are for is jewels, am I right? It <laughs> oh, here we go. Madam had uh, yes, this lady will tell us all. Oh shit, can somebody do my boots for me? Because I seriously cannot do them. There's a lot of fucking straps here. What is that noise? No one must come to my chamber door. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's the robot! Oh no way, he's really here. He's really big too. He's really scary. I want your safe. I want to stick my piece in your box. Come to Papa. I must get all the jewels for myself. I am a fancy fucking robot. <laughs> that is quite true. Hey, oh my god, hold me tighter. Hold me tighter. Hold me tight. Oh, your boobs feel nice. Told me <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> it's a stealing robot. Can you believe this shit? It's like, Father, all of our jewels were in there. Now what are we going to do? Now what are we going to wear to the ball? Well, let's get dinner first, and then we'll talk about it. No. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, like, there's this big fucking robot going around. We gotta let people know. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. If anyone can translate this shit, let me know how good I am at telling the story. Okay, <laughs> You cannot shoot me. I am a robot. <laughs> I am bulletproof. Yes, that is right. Oh my god, this fence cannot hold me. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you just wasted all of your energy shooting a fucking robot. <laughs> you must die. I'll skip it. <laughs> you want me to love you a long time? <laughs> robot coming. Oh, here's the red light again. Alright, is this a hooker robot? I hope it's a hooker robot. <laughs> Nothing says loving like a hooker robot, am I right? Alright. Alright, now the robot's gonna do like the electric slide, right? Yeah, it really? No. <laughs> Everybody's like, holy shit, get in the car and go, you motherfuckers! <laughs> There's a robot on the loose! Holy shit! <laughs> oh man, look at that robot run, yo! <laughs> Robots have been working out. 
He's catching up on you. I'm coming for you. You cannot outrun the robot. <laughs> Let me put on my red light. Here I am. Haha. -ha. I am in the back of the car now. <laughs> you guys are totally fucked. <laughs> Let me spin the wheel. How many people are inside of me? That means, oh fuck. <laughs> The wheels are running down. I cannot keep this afoot. I'm not really sure that we're ready for a fucking bike race in the middle of all this shit, but what the hell. Uh, yeah. Defeat the robot! Defeat the robot! <laughs> shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! No, that doesn't fucking work. Alright, another goddamn gangbang. Come on, guys. Come on. Seriously. Yeah, I know, the waddling of the fucking robot, like, <laughs> I waddle and I can't move that fucking fast, okay? <laughs> Release the lizard. What the hell is going on here? What the hell is this? Did they bring in Godzilla? Like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> did they capture the robot? The fuck did I miss? <laughs> Over here, sir. Oh. Ha ha ha! I stole your bike! I'm out of here, bitches! Alright, to the car we go! Alright, everybody's having a big old party! It's a, back to the orgy scene! Alright! La bella, yes! <laughs> I believe they're at a ball! <laughs> Alright! Woo! Let's look at these streamers! Woo! Throw the shit out of here! Let's, let's litter like sons of bitches! <laughs> Meanwhile, back on the farm. <laughs> it's like drive, motherfucker, drive. drive. <laughs> I don't know, something about someone's mascara is messed up. Mine is from laughing, so yeah. Alright, it's Mr. Robot, yes. Let's decorate the robot. Oh, he gives us joy. He tried he was tried to destroy us and now he is one of us. Yes, we have w welcome robot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> welcome little robot. You are now welcome here. Thank you. I will take your plant. Here you go. <laughs> I shall give you plant life. This guy is taking things one step too far. <laughs> Get out of the box. I want to get in her box. Sexual robots. I am a pleasure bot. Let us go for our walk, lady. <laughs> I want to show you my dipstick. Somewhere in the woods. Nah, it's not the party. God damn it. I gotta learn how to read. Yes, would you like to sit down and have a drink with me? Oh, you want some lube? All right, we can get you some lube. We can get you some oil and lube. Let's just sit down. Yes. My robot ass hurts. Champagne. Oh my god, I can read something. Holy shit. <laughs> I guess champagne is champagne in any language. Yes, the robot did it. I don't know what the hell the robot did. I am confused at this point. Well, fuck, there goes that bottle, right? <laughs> Drink up. Robot loves champagne. Robot is an alcoholic. Meanwhile, these two, I don't know what the hell's going on. There's this dude on a bike. I don't know. Like, well, like, I think the time periods are really fucked in this movie. Oh. Uh, let's <laughs> just roll with it, right? <laughs> uh oh. Alcoholic robot is not nice. Nope. <laughs> Can't take him nowhere. Uh, there's always that one at the party, right? Again, you cannot shoot me. I am a robot. Now I am a drunk robot. Uh, robots gone wild. Show us your nuts and bolts. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I am here to capture this lady. Oh my god, he's tripping her. Holy crap. Robots like skin. What? Oh, damn. Bad robot. Bad. What the hell? 
Robot said, I will sacrifice her for the robot gods. The robot must die. The robot. <laughs> like, bring it forth. We have another robot ready to go. Oh my god, Hitler's in charge. What the hell? Hitler. <laughs> All right, we got a showdown here, little kitties. Welcome to the wild, wild breast. Here we go. We are at the robot coliseum. That is right. That is right. The new robot is taking out the old robot. No, wait. They're just dancing. Meanwhile, Hitler's like, "What the fuck?" All right, Hitler. Like, <laughs> All right, you want to get romantic? I'll show you my dipstick if you show me yours. Don't worry, if I'm not in bolt on you, I will raise the baby as it was my own. Fire. We are shooting fire from our heads. In the meantime, here we go again. That's a long fucking road, yo. That's all, <laughs> that's all I have to, I don't know what the fuck this has to do with the movie. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> It's always comedy when someone falls down the stairs, am I right? He's like, holy shit, I made it. <gasps> I am in the laboratory. I have found the secret hideout <laughs> of where the robots have come from. And he's down for the count, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Could this be the end of Robot oh, Roboto 2? I don't know. <laughs> Roboto and Roboto too. I don't know. I'm confusing here. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me get my ass up this ladder. Maybe if I punch something. Going up. Let's see what this shit does. I'm gonna flip this switch, alright? Flip this bitch. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Death to robots. You've destroyed my creation. You son of a bitch, you son. All right, you just made Hitler mad, okay? Like, <laughs> dude, you just killed someone, and now you killed his robots, and now he's like, well, fuck, there goes my toys, you know? Like, bitch, better buy me new toys. He's like, I'm out, bitches. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> like, you are innocent, my friend. You did nothing. You saved us all. What happened to the chick that escaped from the mental hospital? They got right everyone in the car. All right, we did it. We did it. We got the robot under control. Yes, we did it. <laughs> yes, monster, we did it. Oh, you shall be whole once again, my lady. <laughs> and once again, someone will be in your hole. <laughs> So we must arrest this person. We don't know who it is. Let us unmask her. <gasps> oh my goodness. I have no idea who that is. But oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just shocked as everyone else. She fried her circus. Doing what she loved best. Playing with mechanical toys. Alright, the world is safe. We're going up in this airplane. We're going to the Bermuda Triangle, everyone. Say goodbye forever. <laughs> we shall never return again. <laughs> Since now we have defeated the robot. Goodbye. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> that was the craziest fucking thing I have ever seen. Also, we've got to do more of this shit. Like, that was really fucking fun, wasn't it? Like, wow. I wish I could have read that. <laughs> but that was great. I love the robot fucking fight. That was amazing. It's like, oh my god, robots were going at them. Like, sock them, rock them, robots. Like, do it. Like, yes. Yeah. All right. Holy crap. Let me get back to the main scene. I'll go back to the improv scene, I guess. Woo. That was one hell of a show. 
I underestimated time. We still have some time left. All right, I guess we should go back to, let me get this off. We'll go back to the wheel for a little bit. Um, anybody have any robot stuff that they want to add? Oh, no, anybody. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Like, honestly, um, no. Um, okay, good, because I don't know. <laughs> Holy crap, that was crazy, wasn't it? Like, I am your robot lover, come to me. I will destroy you. What the hell happened to all the jewels? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Like, dude. Like, what the hell just happened? Like, what the hell? <laughs> well, on that note, yeah, we will do one more from the wheel here. As soon as I figure out where the fuck we are. Uh, yeah, what the hell? Let's do another wheel here. We'll get this going. After I shut everything off, that was great. One more for the road. Oh, son of a bitch. So <laughs> I had to say one more, didn't I? One more, all right? Mm -hmm. This is what happens. All right, Robot Viagra Dispensary, the musical. In three fucking minutes. Oh, God, this is going to be a long fucking three minutes. <laughs> oh, why? Why do I have friends that do this? All right, here we go. Robot Viagra Dispensary the Musical. Today is my lucky day. I shall go to the Robot Viagra Dispensary. I have to get my dipstick up. My lady robot was not impressed. What else can you do when you have only played with her breast? I must go and get some help. There's a little blue pill that I'm talking about. Yes, that is true. If in blue pills work on robots, you would not believe it if I told you. So I must show you. And here we go. We are out on a day. The sun is shining. My penis is hanging. I must get to the Viagra dispensary. Yes, that is right. Even robots need a blue pill sometimes. So welcome to the robot Viagra dispensary. We've got big pills, little pills, long pills, short pills. They're all the fucking same. Just take a Viagra pill and you can get your dick up too. That is right. Come on down. You will leave with a smile. That is right. Oh my goodness. The robot Viagra dispensary. I will definitely check that out, Sarah. As soon as I'm done with this musical. Yes, I have swallowed the pill. I shall go home and fill my robot wife's vagina. <laughs> yes, here we are. I have made it home. I am in the bedroom now. My sack has dropped. My dick is hard. We're going to have some robot sex. That is right, every entrance is an exit. Every exit is an entrance. That is right, you don't have to go far to find a glory hole on a robot. That is right, you can find the best glory holes on a robot. But here we've come to an end. That's right. <laughs> With robot sex, it doesn't last that long. But the robot Viagra dispensary was there for me, and it will be there for you. So go get some Viagra today. And that is the end of the robot Viagra dispensary of the musical. What the hell happened there? Uh, <laughs> that was crazy, right? Oh my gosh. Yes, definitely. I'm definitely interested. Late Friday nights. Yeah, that sounds like fun, Sarah. I'll definitely have to check it out. Um, yeah, hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. Woo-hoo. 
All right, so we have ended here with another day of Catbox Comedy. Yes, may the fourth be with you. I'm Christine Knowlton. I am over and out, I think. No, wait, just kidding. I'm serious. I'm like here. Okay, okay before I go, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, and Discord. TikTok, YouTube, we are there. Check us out. We have t-shirts on Tee Public. Become a subscriber today for only five bucks a month. Cheaper than a cup of coffee from Starbucks. All right, now I am over and out. I'm Christine Knowlton. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you on the flip side. Woo!